in Childersburg for pre-need funerals, burials, or cremation since 1975, Curtis and Son Funeral Home. Uh, locations in Childersburg on Highway 280 and uh, in Sylacauga on Highway 21 North. That is uh, uh, Curtis and Son Funeral Home, 256-245-4361. In obituary news this morning, funeral service was held yesterday for Charles Leonard Sappho. Uh, Mr. Sappho was uh, laid to rest yesterday at Evergreen Cemetery and uh, he was a longtime Silicogian, and uh, he uh, proudly served the United States Army and honorably discharged in 1962. And he and his wife uh, were longtime faithful members of Mignon Baptist Church here in Silicaga. He and his wife Hilda. And uh, so we uh, uh, ask you to remember uh, this family in your prayers as uh, Mr. Sappho was laid to rest yesterday. Curtis and Son Funeral Home Director Elsie McMurphy officiated that service. Mr. Boyd Horton died uh, at UAB Hospital. Funeral arrangements to be announced by Community Funeral Home in Sylacauga. And Graveside Funeral Service for Thomas Garrett will be Saturday, April 16th at 1 o'clock from Lily Roden Enon Cemetery in Childersburg. Visitation is uh, Friday from 1 to 7 o'clock at the funeral home, Community Funeral Home, Sylacauga Directing. SM Goodson Funeral Home and Crematory in Talladega will announce a funeral arrangement for Terrence Dobbins, age 51. Mr. Dobbins died Tuesday, April the 13th. SM Goodson Funeral Home and Crematory, Talladega Directing. Celebration remembering the life of Pastor James E. Jackson, age 72, of Talladega is Friday at 3 from Ref uh, Refuge Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ with Bishop Conley Hill officiating. Chairman in the Pine Hill Memorial Park. Visitation today for Pastor Jackson will be 3 till 7 o'clock at the funeral home S.M. Goodson Funeral Home Crematory Talladega Directing. And Jerry Sisko King died April the 9th at the age of 71. There will be a celebration of life Friday from, uh, at 11 a.m. from Church of the Highlands Auburn East Campus. The family will greet friends after the service at a tailgate experience on the lawn too. And uh, if you would like to contribute, uh, Cisco had uh, a, a wish that any memorial tributes be made in the form of charitable donations to the 99 for the One Ministries, Inc. That's 99 for the One Ministries, Inc. That's uh, the number is 99 for the One Number Ministries, Inc. And uh, you can go to uh, the uh, uh, GoFundMe Facebook page at... Uh, uh, in Auburn for more information on that. Funeral service for Lane Jackson Lee Sr., age 95, is 1 o'clock Friday at Midway Memory Gardens Funeral Home with the Reverend Don Barnett officiating. Burial in the Branchville Cemetery in Odenville. In lieu of flowers, you may make a donation to Trinity United Methodist Church or to the Wounded Warriors Project in honor of Lane Midway Memory Gardens Funeral Home in Talladega in charge of the arrangements. Celebration remembering the life of Mrs. Pauline Wilson McGee, age 86 of Talladega, will be Thursday, today at 1 o'clock from the SM Goodson Funeral Home Chapel, the Reverend Johnny Twyman officiating, interment in the Africa Missionary Baptist Church Cemetery. Public viewing is today, 3 to 7 o'clock. Uh, at the funeral home, S.M. Goodson Funeral Home, directing that services to uh, Friday uh, at uh, 1 o'clock from S.M. Goodson Funeral Home Chapel in Talladega. And finally, funeral service for uh, Sherry Wesson Rayfield, age 66 of Childersburg, will be Saturday at noon from Radley Smith Funeral Home Chapel. Brother John Limbaugh officiating burial in the Green Hill Cemetery of Childersburg. Mrs. Rayfield died April the 8th at her residence visitation Saturday, 11 to 2 at the funeral home, Radney Smith Funeral Home, Sylacauga, in charge of the arrangements. This obituary report this morning, courtesy of Curtis and Son Funeral Home, the North Chapel on Highway 21 in Sylacauga, and the Childersburg Chapel on Highway 280 in Childersburg for pre-need funerals, burials, or cremations since 1975, Curtis and Son Funeral Home, Sylacauga, Childersburg.